Now to Adamawa State, where 25,000 vulnerable households will heave a sigh of relief for a while, as the governor of the state, Umaru Fintiri, has directed the Ministry of Local Government to make food items available to them. The Commissioner for Local Government, Yayaji Mijinyawa, says the gesture is to bring relief to residents. Wula Bia Denusi filed this report, and then we will bring you a business update after this report. Stay with us. For some time now, life has not been the same for Nigerians due to the increasing cost of living and the high prices of food items in the market. Here in Adamawa State, the story is the same as residents still find it difficult to cope with the high prices of food items. To have clearer perspective on this development, TVC News crew interacted with both customers and food vendors at the Jimeta model market in Yola, and these are their thoughts. We see coming down of food item in Adama. Government can help buy it in quantity and give to the big dealers. May they succeed the price. It may help. So it's almost high itself than before. Because what we buy before is not what we buy now. Now, the cry of these people have gotten to the appropriate authorities and with that, Governor Moro Fintiri ordered the distribution of food items to the vulnerable persons in the state across the 21 local governments of the state. The State Commission of Local Government says the items to be distributed include rice, maize and millet. He explains the measures put in place to ensure the food items get to the target audience. Uh, for the ministry, uh, if you can also recall back, His Excellency has inaugurated a kind of committee that is to oversee this kind of distribution at the state level and the local government level. So, and I believe based on that uh, directives, the local government would follow these footsteps in ensuring that at least the uh, politics is not, uh, did not play a vital role in the distribution of these products. The Algon State Chairman gave reasons for the exercise as he claims that the state government is now working with the local government chairman to find a permanent solution to the food crisis through mechanized farming. Uh, as you, you heard earlier, His Excellency has directed all the local 21 local government to provide three, uh, 300 hectares of land. So we are all at that end, we are also trying this, this season farming to empower people where to enhance, the, uh, to improve the production level in Adama State. Although the economic hardship seems to be a global phenomenon, the Tinubu-led administration had reached out to state governors across the country with cash and palliatives to cater for the need of the vulnerable